Suiko, what's your personal relationship with creativity and Zen? Oh yeah, so this is this is a big piece of it. I'll tell a story. I was at the end of one of my first silent meditation retreats. It was a week long and I was camping in the desert and we had a period of time that was just open and we'd been meditating and I was really settled and really in it. And I went out to my tent and I sat down on the edge of my mattress and I got out my paper and I got out my ink and I got out my paintbrush. Actually, it was even, it was this paintbrush. And as I'm, as I'm moving, I'm, I was totally feeling my body and aware that I was moving these things. It almost felt like a ritual. And, and I was aware at the same time while I was doing it, I don't know what I'm, I don't have a plan. I don't know what I'm going to paint. I'm just moving these objects. And I dip the paintbrush in the ink. And then I kind of sat back into meditation posture and dropped in and was with the breath and felt like I could sit like this until the break is over. Like, <laughs> you know, and was really feeling my breath and the way my breath was moving my body. And then I could, I started to feel this like little urge coming, like an impulse arising from my belly from my low belly and it kind of rose up through my body and then went through my arm and then I made a gesture on the paper and I felt like wow that felt great so then I said that piece of paper aside and I did the same thing again and that moment that was a turning point moment for me it was a moment of bringing together a like kind of literal bringing together of of Zen practice, of being really settled, being open to whatever's arising, being non-judgmental, being welcoming and responsive. And to bring that into creativity, which is such a like heart language for me, was a, a really powerful connection. And so that kind of set me on a path and on a on a passion for exploring that connection and how those two can feed each other. Yeah. I love that story. Thank you. Yeah.